Welcome to the fantasy get, get zone. Ready, get Wel ready. Wel welcome to the fantasy zone. Oh. Ah, whoa. Hi. Hey. Whoa, what's going on, everybody? Hi. It's uh it's it's Thursday. Uh it's cr uh it's uh ooh. Boy, um, welcome in everybody. Hi, it's uh, it's been um, oh, it's been a bit since we've talked, and a lot has happened. Oh, uh, we've got some donation links to that effect um, in the chat. Um, if you are so inclined, please do check it out. Um, but also this week, uh. The, the transition to talk about video games, I guess. Uh, Sega's 60th anniversary being celebrated. Celebrated. So even celebrated. It seems like a weird thing to talk about. But um, uh, Sega has a rich history. I feel uh, I've, I have at times felt a very deep connection to what Sega has made. Um, not all the time. I think at some point they just kind of went off the deep end into some stuff that, uh, I mean, look, you know, Knights exists, Shenmue exists. We can all agree some of Sega's games are garbage, right? Um, but uh, I wanted to get into some of those and really just capture the essence of Fog Gaming here. Welcome to the Fog Zone. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Except for, except fog. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's time to just get into a variety of games, you know, uh, not running on their native hardware in a lot of cases. So, you know, there's going to be, uh, some interesting, uh, potentially some interesting, uh, side effects that we see as a result of that. But I just, um, kind of wanted to mess around with some of that stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to jump around a few things, not even necessarily in, certainly not in, uh, release order, uh, for sure here. Um, oh, is this just going to crash now that the stream is running? Is that how this is? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I might need to make a change here to that and that. If we want to truly enjoy fog gaming, I think this is really the only uh the only way to do it. I uh but we are still not receiving the signal. Okay, let's take another look here. Okay, that broke. Okay, all right. How about this then? Um, okay. Huh? Whoa. Is this just, I literally had this working pre-stream. I was like, cool, Let's. this will work. Let's get this set up. And now here we are, and it's like... No, we thought it would be cool to not or do it. Um, okay, well. Let's try this and let's try this and let's try this. Man, this sucks. Man, this sucks. Just, uh, that's how it goes sometimes, you know? All right. Um, we're going to just remove this completely. And we're going to re-add it. And uh, see if we can get it back that way. <laughs> Let's just 
not happening. It's just like, nope, that's not a window. Will this work? I'm gonna guess no. That would be too easy. That'd be way too easy. Alright, uh, hang on then. Sorry, this is a shit show. Um, let's try this, and we'll do this and this. And then we will do this, and we'll push this, and then we'll push this. And then we will see what happens. Oh, that's not full screen at all. That's a weird, I don't know what, to, that just broke in, a, in an entirely new way. That's fascinating. Simply fascinating. All right, well, you know, sometimes shit sucks. What are you going to do, right? All right, we're going to quit this one more time. We're going to relaunch this one more time. We are going to go to this. We are going to hit properties. We are going to change this to capture a specific window. We are going to drop down and pick this window. We are going to hit go. And... Uh, we're going to transform, enter display, and where is that? Where is that magic window? Where did that go? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, let's give this one more shot here because I just want to play some Virtua Fighter 4, you know? Uh, is that so much? Is, that, is this fog gaming is a a farce? That's what I think. All right, we'll remove this one more time. We'll re-add it one more time. That type that this that capture that a. Hey. We will make it fit a little bit better here. Boom. We're doing some, uh, some network checking here. So, uh, you know, if we want the proper want to stay in the fog zone here i think fog gaming is a dumb idea <laughs> um but i guess if you're trying to have an arcade business um in a pandemic uh it makes sense for them to try to come up with different ways to um leverage that perhaps the um uh, well, Sega has a long history, honestly, of people taking announcements and uh, running with them and thinking they're going to be the biggest thing in the world, and then, then you show up, and it's the Matrix Online. Um, so, you know. Uh, oh, it's a good noise. It's a very good noise. I'm just going to put coins into this VF4 cabinet. <laughs> I can only that's I'm I, I filled it up. I filled it up with quarters. Sorry, with 100 yen coins. Uh, this is a good ass game. This is uh this is probably the VF game I've played the most. Um, you know, this was a Virtual Fighter game that was coming out around the time that I was going to Japan a lot, and so we could go into arcades and play it against people. And I got to a point where I, I won a few, and uh, that was, uh, there was something about the idea of going to Japan and winning Virtua Fighter matches against Japanese players. It was like, this is fucking crazy. Uh, I guess let's do, what, I don't know what challenge mode even is. I didn't, I don't know that I ever saw Final Team. 
saying the game audio is a little hot. Turn it down. Turn it down, baby. Come on. Let's begin. Oh, is this going to ask me to do specific challenges that I'm not going to be able to read? One. Ready? Go. Where did I map block? Okay. Fight two. Ready? Go. Oh. Ba -da -da -ba. Success. Great. Great, I did it. Unfortunately, I don't have my VF net card here, so I can't, um, you know, I can't save my, my progress. Do five somethings, do four somethings. Four is lower than five, but this is probably a harder route, right? Uh, throw five times, you're saying? All right, let's 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 give that a shot. Come on. Oh, yeah. Fucking awesome. Fight, fight. <laughs> Ready? Go. So, you know, it's the... One of my favorite parts about playing games on emulators is that sometimes they get real good. All right, there's a throw. Uh, there's two throws. This is that thing that came with... Uh, Dead Island, right? Is that... two. Ready? Go. All right. Oh, that was a throw. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, three. Okay, just take a while for it to count up. Four throws. Boom. So they changed Sarah a little bit over the course of the um, um, VF4 games uh, to work like base level VF4. Oh, so she has this kick, this launcher um, that uh, is a, this diagonal upward kick that'll pop somebody up into the air and you can juggle them off of it really easily. And it kind of became my go-to uh, very useful item that Sarah could pull off. And... Um, 15. This one's got a number in it, so you can, you know, you can try it. Start to. Oh, yeah. Is, is this going to break even more for the next stage, or is it going to unbreak? Um, and in uh, VF4 Evo and in Final Tune, they changed it to a double tap. So it's, it's d down forward twice and then kick to do that. And then you can combo off of that, as I just did. Um. Is this just land 15 kicks, or what is this? Land 15 hits? Oh, jeez. Mm. Damn it. Well, you know. This isn't the last you heard of me. I got a B. Yeah, I lost. Oh, do you just, oh, you just keep going in challenge mode no matter what. I see. 
do this launcher three times. That's I, I was born to do this launcher. This is... Uh, if I can't do this, then I've really... I've really, really fucked it up, you know? Anyway, yeah, so you see it's it's two forward, uh, diagonal down forward, and kick. Whereas it used to be just one. And so it was just like you could you could reliably pull it out. Uh, not that like it's hard to do, you know, with two two uh, you know motions or whatever. Uh, but that it's actually uh, I find it a little uh, slightly harder to do on a D-pad. Even good, good, even good guys blow it. I win, even though I lose. I'll take an A. I don't know that I don't know that Akira is the hardest character to play in fighting game history, but he's got a lot of wild shit that is, you know, even for this game, like not. So excellent would be like I need to get hurt a bunch and then pull it out, right? Which for all these matches I'm losing, maybe I should not have chosen that. But uh, no, I mean you know there are plenty of fighting games with you know very technical grapplers and chain combos and this other stuff. I think like, one. Ready? it would probably be. Go. Uh, See uh, uh, uh. Okay, just land it. Ah. Fight two. Ready? Go. Ring out. Shit. I was like, oh, I got ahead early. I should probably let him hit me a bunch now to try and get that excellent out. This isn't the last you've heard of me. But I didn't do it. Uh, but yeah, I thought Virtua Fighter 3 was a pretty bad game. I thought the the way they did the uneven playing field um, was shitty. I think the, they added a fourth button that they took out here because it was not great. Um, that dodge button, it was just a, a bad way to handle it. Um, to handle like sidestepping and, and stuff like that. Um, so four kind of takes it back to a three button setup. And uh, I think it's a, just a, a better Ready? game all around. Go. What do I have to do 15 of? I don't even know. It only wants me to do one of something, so I don't think the 15 is not necessarily a number of things to do. Is that 15 hit combo? Probably not. Lose in 15 seconds? I might be able to pull that off. Fight two! Ready? Go! Ugh. Oof, oof. Yeah, I figured it would be a fast win, but uh, that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen at all here. But hey, I still gotta be. You know, what are you gonna do? It's the power of fog gaming. It's so hot in this room. It's, I can't open the window. It's just hotter outside. What does it say here? What, uh... Let's do that one. 89 degrees. Okay, that says that's about as hot as it's going to get today. So it's about as hot as it's going to get today right now. According to this. <clears throat> um, 
no AC. No, people in this region do not have air conditioning. Um, or at least like central air. Uh, we have put some window Ready? units in. Go! Uh, for the baby's room. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Oops. Oops. Oh, fucker. Fight two. Ready? Go. But yeah, ho homes here are not built with air conditioning. Uh, maybe they are now. Um, but uh, I only knew like one person around here that had air conditioning. But uh, we've got some, it's a, like a freestanding unit with a hose that goes out the window. We actually, so we got new windows installed this week, which should also help with that. Um, this window was cracked uh, because the roommate that lived in this room years ago decided it would be cool to fit plywood to the window so he could fully black it out and uh, put a bunch of tape on the window. And so there's a bunch of like tape residue that I just could not get off. Um, win with that kick. Okay, I can try it. Um, and in the process of taking all the shit off the windows, the window cracked, and, um, so finally got that window fixed, um, placed the window in the baby's room, so, you know, tighter seal, all that sort of stuff, this is, alright, cool, we got another good looking, so, uh, up kicking guards, that's just the, that's just the, uh, this might, you might want to close your eyes, um, if you're seeing this, you might want to not look. Sorry, that's a photo sensitive warning. Yeah, this is a uh, Jeff Minter ROM hack. Uh, the picture of Jay Allard in the next level, and it's just going to start going mo, mo over and over again. Uh, Oh, that my arm that's my arm man. I didn't do the thing. Tried to do the thing. This isn't the last you That's the power of fog gaming right there. This is uh this is what happens when you don't get the when you don't finish every level of res, you can't reconstruct the real world as accurately as you want, and um as such. Voila. Yay. Game over. You are a real Virtua Fighter. Uh, still one of the best coin-up noises in the game. Um, I could see if I could access the test mode. I wonder, well, anyway, I could turn the difficulty down or something like that. But whatever, that's that's uh, Virtua Fighter 4 Final Tuned Version B. Uh, a proper arcade game, if there ever was one. Um, see if this is going to let me change games easily or not easily. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... Trying to look in this list here and see if there's anything else. A big Sega hit that I want to look at before we move maybe move on to a different platform. Oh yeah, here's a here's a here's a this is a Sega classic. This is um pretty much um characters that are synonymous with Sega if this loads. This, if this works, or did this just break it? Or did me changing games cause the whole thing to break? Might have. Might have. Yeah. Is that going to work? It's not going to work. Okay. 
Is that not going to work? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. All right. Well, then we're going to need to kill the source and re-add the source every time we we need to launch a game. All right. Hear me out. Launch the game. Then, then add the source. All right, this is, we're going to play this instead then. Uh, if we're, this is this much of a hassle that I'm going to get to this year 2000 joint that to me is synonymous, synonymous with an era of time in which I um, was in Sega's lobby a lot. Uh, let's try and get this in here. Please just work. Please just work. I don't have time for this. Presented by Sega. No, no, not gonna, not gonna do it this time. Man, this I really wanted to. <sighs> Let's try it again here. Spelling that wrong, that doesn't matter. All right. Planet Harriers. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. All right. Let's try this then. We'll do one of these. We'll do one of these. We'll hit this. We'll do this. We'll hit this. And. Oh, wait, it was starting to work. There we go. Okay. So we used to go up to, uh, you know, back through the kind of Dreamcast era and then the Naomi era, we were in the same building as Sega. They were up on the sixth floor of our building. Um, in uh, you know ninety nine two thousand two thousand you know through through that whole Dreamcast era and um, uh, they had a lot of different you know they had a Naomi machine up there so they would change the games out and do all this different stuff but they they rotated through a lot of stuff so they had Monkey Ball up there with the banana controller um and they also had a Planet Harriers uh, uh machine or a Planet Harriers board up there. Would we just go upstairs for previews? Occasionally, they would just send. They would usually just send builds, and instead of mailing them, they would just walk them downstairs. So we would see uh, Heather and uh, Karen, I believe, were the the two people that were doing PR there at the time. Um, they would just kind of walk down with an envelope. Oh, here, here are some Dreamcast games. Um, uh, this game is. Um, the emulation on this is, I'll tell you, not perfect. Um, but last time I checked, it's pretty playable. It's a spiritual successor to Space Harrier. Um, and it's sick. And it never got ported anywhere else. This never this, this never ended up anywhere else. Um, Please select your character. Glenn X. Nick will be Glenn. I don't think the guy from Space Harrier ever got a name. Welcome to the fantasy zone. No? Alright. Uh, so I've got lock-on fuel up there at the top. I've got my regular shot and my lock-on shot, which is, you know, kind of an, almost an afterburnery sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, it's like, it's a, um, it's one of these. It's one of these rail shooters with a, a lock-on like you would have in a Panzer Dragoon or something like that. Um, And if you get enough money, you I think you go into a shop and you can buy more lock-on fuel so you can lock on to more targets at a time and stuff like that. Jeez, I get hit. Okay. And, uh, you know. All right, okay. I'm getting hit here.
How does it feel? I mean, it feels a little finicky. You know, like uh, the, the movement feels a little... Like that this analog stick is not the analog stick they had in mind when they uh, when they built the game, right? So, obviously, you know, you'll have some sensitivity differences and stuff when it comes to uh, analog... Emulating games of an analog persuasion. Um, you're gonna... I've entered the star shop. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? He says. Uh, we want some more lock-on fuel for sure. We want to uh, get an extra life heart case. Big bomb. Life repair. Why not? Um, barrier. That guy's in a like a fog. He's like a he's like out fog gamer. Good luck. Wonder if afterburner climax is possible. Well, why don't we find out immediately after this? But we will not. Uh, is there an arcade version of afterburner climax? I don't think there is. Is there? Anyway. Yeah, makes sense that it would be. It's a freaking afterburner game, right? But uh. I don't know if the arcade version of that is playable on a PC. So yeah, you know, it, it's uh, as a big Space Harrier fan, the idea that they made a game and called it Planet Harriers and kind of followed in those footsteps at least a little bit was like very exciting to me. But um, you know, this doesn't really retain too much of the feel of that game and certainly not the visual style of uh, of Space Harrier and uh, and so it's cool um, and I think that this is an interesting um, game uh, but it, it's it's mostly interesting because it never went anywhere else right it, they never put it on Dreamcast uh, it wasn't this didn't run on Naomi this ran on Hikaru or whatever the Hikaru right it's the platform they did after that after Naomi 2 um, or not an after it was actually like in the middle of it somewhere right they they kind of because this is 2000 and Naomi 2 games were coming out in like 2004 um but there's no reason why they couldn't have taken this concept and, and put it onto a Dreamcast. Uh, got to get paid. Oh god, I got paid in hot fucking death Opa Opa is here to say put in more money man I did some fog gaming for you Thanks, Glenn. Hello. How are you? I'm no, I'm okay. I mean, you know, considering. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. 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 Mm -hmm. Sorry. I like that she points out each one. Will have I, I I will have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, I can't remember the last time I went to a store and talked to somebody. <laughs> Did 
Did it crash? Did it just lock up? It might have just locked up. Okay, the game is still running, but for me, the graphics have locked uh, over here. So, you know, uh, it's a weird platform, a weird arcade platform that uh, never got ported anywhere else. But um, if you are so inclined, you can run uh, Hikaru games such as Planet Harriers, Brave Firefighters, Air Tricks, Star Wars Racer Arcade, and NASCAR Racing uh, on a personal computer if you're if that's your thing let's um let's see if we can pull together this uh this other thing here uh okay we'll launch this and then we gotta launch the game and then add it to our scene over here our fog scene we're not going to update this right now it's not the time i don't have the time I'm in, I'm in the middle of a thing here compile these ppu modules just let's go gotta compile ourselves some ppu modules that might take a, a couple of minutes here um in the meantime, I can reset the pitch on the soundboard. It was just, it's its easy to use the knob to, to detune it, but getting it back in tune. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Um. It's hot. I'm going to try to, I got to, um an air cleaner that has a fan in it back here. I'm going to try to turn it on. And if it's too loud, if you hear it over the microphone, you can let me know and I'll turn it back off. All right. How's that? Is it, uh, is that noisy? Is my noise gate proper? Great. Okay. Now we can get a little bit of, uh, air in here. All right. Let's add this. Game capture. I see the RTX audio stuff. Yeah, I installed the RTX audio stuff and, and didn't uh, didn't really keep it running because uh, Discord has something similar uh, built in these days. Oh, you're right. I can just do this. We'll turn off. We got to. We have to turn. Hang on. Let me turn off Donkey Kong. Okay. Uh-huh. Something weird just happened that this is not moving past this screen. <laughs> oh, I swear. If it's not one thing, it's another, right? It's almost like capturing this stuff is uh bizarre and uh broken and I'm gonna run it one more time here and Ah, yes, the PlayStation 3. Afterburner Climax. Uh, here it is. It's Afterburner Climax. Sh sure. All right. <laughs> I was hitting Xbox X, not PlayStation X. I hate when that happens. Uh, this is a cool game. I have not played a ton of it. Uh, Select aircraft. Gonna have to go with the Super Tomcat here uh, with special paint.
Okay, I gotta I gotta get my controls uh, under me here. Okay, that is indeed the missile button. The button I thought was the missile button is the missile button. If you ain't rolling, this is what Limp Biscuit was talking about. Christmas. Uh, yeah, it might. Uh, this might be a slightly higher resolution than an actual PS3 runs it at. I ah, just getting hit with rockets, but I don't care. I'm just gonna keep the sp the fast speed button pulled down, and uh, oh, it's like Rebel Assault all of a sudden. Jeez. Max. I'm a simple man. I don't understand your fancy climax system. I just know how to hold down the fast speed uh, and and do sick. Oh, the prototype. John Cena's here. Get this fucker. Oh, you can't roll in the canyons. Okay, that's why I'm like swerving back and forth. Going, what the fuck? Stop doing it. The lure, the lure of the sky. What can I say? Yeah, I mean, I know I keep getting blown up and over and over again, but I am going fast and doing sick-ass spins, so... I only shot down 27% of things. This game moves pretty well. This is a pretty fucking fast-moving game. Hang on, I guess I can do that. Uh, I should probably not be uh, doing a barrel roll in the middle of spending my climax juice, huh? See, now, see that time I hit it at the start of doing the bell roll. That's almost worse. Yep. 
forgotten glory. Innocent land. These names are terrible. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll maybe not go full speed all the way through here. some of these targets here. I guess I gotta slow it down, huh? Oh no! You didn't blow up enough of them. Oh well. I'm just here to spin, man. Forty-nine percent. That's hey. Okay, I was like, oh, enemy, let's slow down so I can get in front of me and I can kill it, but... That'll, that'll show them I'll blow up first before they can get to me. Playtime's doing really good. It turns out, holding down uh, high speed the entire time. Blowing up the searchlights uh, count as uh, not being spotted. Oh, uh, ah. fuck. Good font, the afterburner font. Um, don't turn off your PS3. Afterburner climax. Is this gonna is this gonna work or is this is this done? Did this uh did this save operation fail of some somehow? Anyway. It don't matter. Uh Afterburner Climax. I don't think they can sell it anymore, right? Is it it's one of those Sega games that kinda got lost? time a little bit, probably because they licensed the Jets or something. Uh, or was it just OutRun? Because I know OutRun, they uh, eventually couldn't uh, like the, the later OutRun games, like 2006 or whatever it was. I thought that one went away. Um, oh, hey, speaking of which. Climax, yeah, Climax was delisted on consoles, yeah. Um, along with OutRun. I, you know, I think, I'm trying to think Sega's driving games. I, I've never been too huge on, uh, on their driving stuff. Um, I played Hang On because it was the pack-in for the Master System a whole lot. Um, I think Daytona's cool. I actually, I thought uh, Virtua Racing was uh cool in its era um 
but for whatever reason i don't know I, i'm i'm not like i know like there's a whole aesthetic that, like so many uh <laughs> music careers have been launched off the back of do you like outrun um but i don't i was never i was never a, a huge outrun fan uh i guess turbo you ever play turbo like 80s arcade that's that's sega that's them um turbo was kind of cool because the cops would come up from behind you or uh, there was an ambulance that sometimes you would just hear an ambulance coming up and you're like oh shit i need to get out of the way of this this ambulance that's coming up in the middle of the race had a cockpit with like a little side uh you know i think like little times on the side or something uh this is this just going to pop in? Is this just going to pop in? Please just pop in. Oh, it probably is not going to pop in because it's a different it's a different window title. Now will it work? Okay, it's not going to work. And... No. This is just, you know what it is? It's because the, it, it wants to capture off the window title a lot of the time. And, um, the, when you put the, the frame rate updating in your window title, sometimes that doesn't show up. I think is probably what's happening here. Uh, which makes me wonder how we got after, there we go. Hey, hi. This is Outrun Online Arcade, which I'm not... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, all right. At 50. Automatic transmission. For experts, long distance to the goal. Outrun mode. Ah, everyone's favorite Outrun song, Life Was a Bore. I have always been a magical sound shower person. Magical sound shower. And uh, I don't care who knows it. Get ready. Just let those shaders compile. Whoa, whoa, a little squirrely there. I'm just trying to beat my rival.
There's not much to this game. <laughs> Which I guess, you know, hey, uh, you know, if they're making a new... New... Outrun game, you know, Outrun is an arcade racer from an era of arcade racers. But I think that's, you know, like, I think there's a lot of arcade racers that, uh... I didn't much care for in arcades, and oftentimes they didn't make great home ports because it was just like, here, race against the clock and see how far you can get on a quarter. Can you beat it or not? Uh, nope, put in another quarter. And, and so, you know, some of those games didn't port well when they came home because it became this, like, okay, well, that's all you got, then... Uh, that's an expensive video game for, for what you're offering. And, and and so I stayed away from... Eventually understood to stay away from those sorts of arcade ports where you would just get them and bring them home and win the first day and beat the game and be like, all right, well, really glad I bought Golden Axe. Really glad I bought Strider. All the way, baby. All the way. To hell. What? But yeah, I just think, you know, like a, a lot of those games, like either you were into replaying them and and into the idea of just like, I'm going to get way better at Golden Axe for the Genesis. Uh... Or you completed it and went like, all right, I, um, this was like a fun thing to do when I had like a, a, an entire day at an arcade and just like, hey, let's play Golden Axe and finish it. And hey, we spent a dollar finishing Golden Axe. But now that you're spending 40 or 50 or whatever it was to bring it home, you're like, ah, hmm, there is no way I'm going to get my money's worth out of this. Suck it, rival. Ah. Oh, that's just quality driving right there. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Time over. This lady's beating me up. But yeah, I don't know. I have, uh, th that said, I eventually kind of got into Ridge Racer in a way that I didn't expect. But but of course, like Ridge Racer over time changed a lot too, right? I mean, they realized they were making games for a home market and tried to put more in the games to uh, make that feel worthwhile. And um, you know that that matters. That for sure matters. All right. Um. Let's move back a ways. Let's turn on our good friend Atari 2600 Donkey Kong that has been squashed into an, an unnatural aspect ratio that does not preserve original Donkey Kong two, uh, 2600's 
you know, thickness. Thickness. Um, okay. Does this do what I want it to do? It does. Cool. Um, I this this music's great. This uh, specific music, uh, hopefully, this plays properly. Uh, is it's loading the game? It's loading this arcade game off of a floppy disk. So hold on a sec. Coin not acceptable. Please just wait a moment here. Um, Hot Rod in Japanese, apparently. Um, and uh, it's the music. It's the shot music. Is the is the music from Fantasy Zone, but slightly different instrumentation. And also, I played a lot more Hot Rod than I did in Fantasy Zone. Hot Rod was a like a standing four player tabletop machine. So you would stand up uh, and and look down at the the game. You know. Uh, all right, give other players five more seconds to join in if they want. Uh, actually, all, all the music in this game is good. I got to turn it up here for myself locally. So, you know, it, this game, it, you're supposed to play it with a big loose steering wheel and you're just going crazy on the steering wheel and spinning it like wild and and that's the the fun of the gameplay that's the the difficulty of the gameplay is knowing when to catch the steering wheel so uh, in an emulated form like this you're really not kind of getting the a true sense of the difficulty but uh Is there a shop right here, or do you have to win a few races? I don't remember. Yeah! But, uh, but all the music in this game is fucking good. Oh, God. Do I just have to not finish last? I forget. Speed tires. Fuck traction. But yeah, maybe we'll play some Fantasy Zone uh, as well, which is where that music, that shop music, was also used there. Uh, but I think it's, uh, I think the instrumentation, I think the style of it is, oh, we're going to try this. No, we're going to die. Oop. We're out of gas. We're out of gas. If you see, if you see the tra tracks, if you see the caution lights at the train tracks, stop. You, uh, trains can't. Anyway, that's Hot Rod. I think Hot Rod is a sick video game.
in the, uh, you know, the same way that, like, uh, Super Sprint was. When Atari did Super Sprint, it was a very similar, uh, you know, uh, Iron, Iron Man, Stewart's Off-Road. Uh, like, Fantasy Zone is a game that, obviously, um, it's, uh, I feel like it's well-loved in a lot of circles. I, I don't never, I never really had a huge affinity for it. Um... The the Opa Opa character. Okay, we gotta turn this down now. This is just too serious. Music's very good though. Opa Opa stay paid. I can't remember if I'm fucking crazy or not. But I, I feel like last night I saw someone with an Opa Opa mag in PSO2. That seems like something they would definitely have in there. That's, oh, that's you. you have, okay, well, yeah, then I guess that explains it. See, this is cool. This music's all right, but it's better in Hot Rod. We're doing big wings, baby. Great. Nailed it. Pow. Fog gaming. But yeah, uh, Fantasy Zone was a game that I, I don't think I ever actually saw in an arcade, so I just don't really have that connection to it. Uh, like, only kind of came to it through home ports or, you know, emulation. And... Log is puking at me. Ah, screw that up. Papered up. Let's get a laser beam. Let's get... Mm. Maybe could have got double bomb, I guess. Oh, right. The weapons run out. Ugh. It sucks. Congratulations for shooting that whole squadron of enemies. You get 50, 50 gold. Not worth it. I think the shop prices in this game for weapons that run out is... Uh, I'm just saying the, the economy in fantasy is just broken. Everyone knows it.
Look, I, you know, if I want to spend time in the fantasy zone, uh, there's really only, there's really only one way I want to do it. Uh, and it's, and it's this way. You talk about games as aesthetic. Uh, you talk about fog gaming. Um, uh, you talk about welcome, 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 welcome to the fantasy zone. Welcome to the fantasy zone. You talk about incredible audio design, tremendous visual design. Space Harrier has it all. Crazy ass mushroom clouds when you blow up trees. Incredible fucking robots. One-eyed woolly mammoths. Squilla. These sick looking fireballs. Oh. Oh, this game. Oh, God. Game might play a little bit better here if the analog stick would did not auto center. So this uh the, the cabinet the, the I uh, primarily played Space Harrier in the I guess environmental cabinet you would call it is that the I think the industry term for anyway it was a big sit down motorized cabinet that as you moved the stick it would move in the direction you were moving. And the screen was attached to it. All the stuff you just sat in this unit, uh, and it and it uh, moved around. And it's great. It's fucking incredible. Uh, uh, the fun spot in New Hampshire had one of those last time I was there with one Rich Gallup, and I was very excited to see one of those for the first time in God. At that point, I mean, this was this was a long time ago, even now. Um, it had probably been 20 years or something since I had seen one of those motorized ass Space Harrier cabinets, and, and I was very happy to sit down and, and play it uh, again. She got two heads. Like what? It's ridiculous. Gotta let him take another pass. All right. You're doing great. Now we get this cool futuristic looking city, and then the ceiling drops in, and then we get cool shapes that are invincible. So you gotta dodge them. You gotta dodge all these cool shapes. Sick ass polygons coming at you. Ah. Uh. Roll for initiative on those fucking things, man. Yeah, but... Get ready. Many more battle scenes will soon be available. It turned out to be a lie. Uh, oh, these robots are so good. Um, so dead. You're doing great. Oh, here we go. 
never ending story for that ass. Fuck these trees. Space Harrier smokes these trees. He's smoking them right now. Bye, friend. You're doing great. I am. I feel. I feel like I'm doing great now. Oh yeah, the jets. Oh no, these are not the jets. These are like the weird. Yeah. Okay, we'll get these guys. Many more battle scenes will seem to be available. I wondered forever, would there be like a mission pack for Space Harrier? Would they put out more levels for the arcade machine? Like, what did it mean? And uh, it, it meant nothing as it turned out. Oh, God damn it. Get ready. You can tell those jets transform, man. Just by looking at them. You know they're trouble. Um... And, uh, you know, they, they put out this game for the Master System. It was a pretty decent port, uh, all told. Uh, oh, these things. Weird pills. Dead pills. Um, You're doing great. And they eventually did put out Space Harrier 2 for the Genesis, which I don't... I, I never really liked it. I thought the music was not good. Um, I thought the levels and, and enemy design and stuff like that was not as cool. Um, and the, the, the enemy shots coming in were like these dumb-looking rings instead of these cool football-looking banana-ass ovals. Uh... So I just think, like, yeah, just like aesthetically, I think Space Harrier 2 just is is not nearly as cool, uh, just from an art, a raw ass art perspective. Uh, oh. Get ready. And so I'm over here still waiting for that Space Harrier level pack. cool to die by running into a robot because it means you get like a good you know three or four seconds to just stare at the robot and realize how cool it looks up close you know Flying rock head. You're doing great. Fuck. Sometimes you see that coming, you know. Okay, no. Nice.
Ah, damn it. Got away. Oops. Thought I killed kill that guy. Not every boss can be a winner. Here's just a bunch of normal enemies repurposed to look like move and move like the pill boss, but it's just those balls. You know? You can't they can't all be fucking flying murder dragon skeletons, you know? I mean they could be, but like Cross looking ass motherfuckers. I saw someone mention 3D World Runner in the chat. That game sucks. It's ass. It's bad. It's terrible. It's like someone looked at this and said, What if we made a really shitty one of these. Ugh. Ugh, gross. It's just gross. Bounce off the stupid pillars to make rockets drop out. Just dumb. That's right. Enough with the trees. We've decided the environment is worth saving, and now we're taking it to the corporation's evil towers and dice. I remember those bonus stages being longer. Maybe I'm just crazy. I mean, I feel like if I was going to invent a genre of music, it would be... I would look at this for a very long time and say, what if you could make it... What if the music sounded like this game looked? Right? I mean, that's... I don't even know what these are. What are these? They're dead. You're doing great. I am. I, I, I feel like I'm still doing okay. Great is maybe a stretch. Oh, much faster. Oh, geez. Now they glow. Why not? Nighttime. Yeah. You. Okay. Down, up, down, up. Shooting in this game becomes kind of like almost like a sonar. You know, I, I think the the ping noise when you hit an indestructible object is one of the more useful things. Uh, Get ready. Oh damn it! Um, in the game, especially when things get a little hectic, you can always just keep shooting. And if you hear the ping, you know that something that is going to kill you is in front of you. So move. Ah, the floating platforms are coming and crashing to get me. We hit this pillar. Get ready. Oh, 
These robots ain't fucking around no more. Is this the guy? No, he's like it's level 17 or something. I think he's the dude. I like when these robots stack up because it's really ridiculous. There's like, we're going to stand in on top of each other here and, and shoot at you. Ugh. Fog Gaming is truly the future. Here's the, this is the guy, right? He comes out. No, okay, this is just a bunch of robots. Level 16, a bunch of robots. See you later. You're doing great. Narc. Here's the guy. These weird demon dogs. Get ready. With some weird, weird Garfield looking dog, fire dogs. Get ready. Boss rush. Gadarni, am I right? Barbarian, am I right? Your boy Squilla. Uh, maybe better known these days uh, under the name Squillex. Yeah, those fuckers will hit you, man. Those heads. Stop hitting the button. You must keep hitting the button.
your good friend Uriah here to just let you go. Ah. We still have some control here. Still getting points, by the way. Anyway, Space Harrier, Space Harrier is a very good game. It's on the Switch. Um, if you're so inclined. You can just play it there. Um, <sighs> I feel better. Uh, I'm going to see if this plays Turbo. It does. No, it does. Yeah, it does. I don't know how well it'll run. You know, it's a steering wheel kind of game, but since we were talking about it earlier, um, this is Turbo. A hot Sega driving game from 1981. Okay, looks like I can shift from low to high. There's just no audio here. We're just getting it's just all Hmm. That's strange. Now we're by the water. Now now we're on a turn, but all I'm really doing is going now we're on another turn. Uh, now I think, is that, is that flag, uh, ambulance coming up from, no, what is that? Is that just the, okay, yeah, ambulance, don't hit the ambulance, that'd be bad. Let the ambulance pass. Now we're in a tunnel. So it's kind of cool that just the, the number of different scenes you would see in, in Turbo was kind of cool at the time. Uh... Gosh, what else? I'm trying to think like good ass Sega. Um, you know what? Is this going to be? Huh? I'm going to try something real quick here. This might. This might be a mess, but. Uh... Hmm. Does this work? It does not. Okay. Well, let's uh, hang on a sec here. Okay. Just look at the task manager and make sure that didn't make a bunch of weird shit run. Uh, I want to, I don't know if MAME does this game properly or not. It might just be a Daphne thing. Uh, graphics okay, sound unimplemented. Let's launch it and see what happens. Let's add it, get it, get it, a ca get it a captured here. But it's looking like this isn't going to do anything. Oh, yeah, this is going to do absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, good to know. Good to know, Astron Belt. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, you know, Laserdisc games and MAME, not always. Uh, there are a few that work. Firefox, I think, works. Uh, you know, my favorite web browser, my favorite movie. Everyone knows that. Uh, but, uh, well, I guess if Astron Belt doesn't work, then Galaxy Force probably isn't either. Does it play G? Uh, I'm going to play some of this stuff. Some of that stuff.
Hmm. This looks like garbage now. <laughs> this, this looks terrible. This is uh, th this is pretty much Afterburner three. Also, uh, um, the Sega CD Afterburner three, I think, is just kind of this game, isn't it? I could be wrong, but um, Well, this isn't great. All right, that's not, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't get Daphne to run for some reason. I don't know what happened to it, but it just, it doesn't, it's not running right. Uh, which is a shame, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to play a Sega classic is what you're going to do. You're going to play Congo Bongo. You thought Donkey Kong was cool. Well, Fog Gaming is now going to bring you... Another tale about a man and a monkey uh, in this game is, uh, look at the 3D, look at the depth here. Suck it, Donkey Kong. Congo Bongo Country. In an alternate reality, uh, people are playing Congo Bongo Country, and, uh, and I am saying that I think it sucks. Oh, get these monkeys off me. I can't. Oh, I can't. Move. Oh, no, no. Damn it. No, shit. Damn it. That last couple of steps. I can still slide you take. This monkey has, doesn't even stand a chance. You're like, later, sucker. Oh, you fucker. You fuckface. You dickhead. Congo Bongo, you mother effer. We're going to stick it to Congo Bongo. And by that, I mean, I'm going to, we're going to look at the later levels of Congo Bongo. See, if you jump wrong, you bounce off that thing. It's, you know, timing is everything. This is, I'm not going to say it's the pinnacle of video games, but, uh, uh well. See, you, you jump wrong, you end up. There you go. I guess this is going to be a lot easier if I don't have to like really worry about these snakes, but hopefully I can still ride on the hippo's back. Oh, well, see, if I had turned on the walk on water cheat, maybe we would have... I gotta say, honestly, you know, no fucking around here. The, uh... The isometric perspective kind of makes some of these jumps uh, hard to line up and land. If we want to talk real about Sega's Congo Bongo. You can hide in these holes. In these rhinos. Nope. Haha, sucker. I mean... 
were invincible anyway, so... I think the next level is the last level, and he's asleep? Is that what it is? We exact our revenge once and for all? Yeah, look at him. No, what? It, it, I guess maybe I'm supposed to get on the hip hippo. All right, let's do this. Let's just to complete the level, you must press F6. All right, whatever. All right, we're gonna. I assume that just turns cheats off, so we're gonna turn the walk on water off. We're gonna stick it to this sleeping fucker. We're gonna get this motherfucker. In the name of Fog Gaming. Suck it! Congo Bongo is very good. You telling me this thing don't play Super Zaxxon? What are we doing here? Of course it does. Not just Zaxxon. Super Zaxxon. This is a hard fucking game, so we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna cheat from the get-go. Uh, infinite fuel. Infinite lives. Let's see how that far that gets. I wanna fight the dragon. Oh, you go so much faster in Super Zaxxon. Like, Zaxxon is already a pain in the ass. Super Zaxxon. Look at this. I'm fucking careening. Well, bananas through here. Speaking of isometric games. Now we're in this tunnel. Tunnel in. Tunnel in, people. You get bonus 2,000 points. Oh shit, okay. Oh, oh! You go so fast! It's so crazy! It's truly super Zaxxon. Oh, you know what? For the, for if you've not seen regular Zaxxon, I will fucking fire it up here for a sec and you can get a, a look at... Alright, here we go. Here we go. By the way, a dragon. It's the friggin' space dragon shooting homing fireballs at me. We're just fucked. No, no, come back and die. Oh. I don't know why we're just suddenly fighting a second dragon, but... I, hmm. I don't know if maybe maybe uh, something about the cheats that I've turned on have uh, done something to Super Zaxxon here, but I don't think you're supposed to just fight dragons forever. Oh well, I don't. Well, who knows? Who knows? I'm just, I'm not good at Super Zax. Super Zaxxon is a fucking nightmare video game. No one's ever been this far. What's the world record for Super Zaxxon? Like nine points. I remember when our arcade got Super Zaxxon, I was like, oh, hell yeah, more Zaxxon. And then I played it and I was like, this is 
for made by assholes for uh, for bigger assholes. This is impossible. Zaxxon here. Zaxxon uh is a is a motherfucker of a video game already, uh but not like that. Look at Zaxxon. Now look at this. Look at this. It's like, ah, uh, just a leisurely stroll through these floating space castles. Let's just, oh, uh, let's get shoot these guys. We'll get some fuel. We'll fly up over this. It's fine. We'll shoot this, shoot fuel to get fuel, just like uh, the real world. Um, yeah, shoot those guys. Go over this weird beam. Let's cruise back down here and shoot this satellite dish and uh, shoot this enemy plane. <sighs> and now we're in space, and this part is where the part where the, the height meter on the side and the whole isometric nature of it combined with the up-down is very um, hard to parse. Uh, they give you that little, that little X in front of you when you're lined up with an enemy ship at the right height and stuff to try to let you line it up, but... Uh, just a, a chill video game by comparison. We're just like, ah, uh, you know. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I fucked that up. And there's no space dragon here. It's a robot that shoots homing missiles. And I don't know how many bullets you need to put into those homing missiles to beat the. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna cheat here real quick because I want to know. I guess you just gotta line up your shot, huh? Good. Good. I mean, I could always uncap the game and let it see how fast it can run on this PC. There you go. Fuck Super Zaxxon. Too much. Well then. One last game here before we go. Those perverts at Sega. This game, I'm sorry. It's the name of the game. It's a pun based on a politician. It's I mean, I guess I should just die to show the thing I'm talking about, huh? But...
Anyway, watch what happens when one of these uh, basic enemies uh, gets me. This weird display of bondage. Very erotic. Highly erotic. Now that's fog gaming. I hope that Sega's Fog Gaming Initiative will allow players to play, I'm sorry, uh, when Japanese arcades are closed. Uh, you know, some after hours, I'm sorry, uh, I find is uh, just the right way to unwind. Um, there you see Michael Jackson. You know, video games. Sega loves Michael Jackson. He's in all these games. That's going to do it for me here. Hello. Uh, hi, everyone. Hello. What's... Uh, uh, I hope... This is... This is a whole thing. This is a... I don't know. I don't know. I should probably should probably cut my hair. Probably let probably take care of this. I don't know. I don't know. Have a tremendous Thursday. We'll be back tomorrow uh, to do some more digging and all that. I believe Alex is up next with Hardcore Drummond. Philip Hardcore Drummond. Uh, will be in the building. And uh, until then, stay safe out there. Donation links there at the top of the chat uh, for uh, Black Lives Matter. And uh, I believe, is that a COVID chair? I, I, uh, the, the GameSpot Play for All stuff is ongoing. They've got, uh, we've got a couple of links up in there. So, um, so check that stuff out. Can I use your toilet? Can I use can I can 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 I use your toilet? The Undertaker just picked up. Oh, no, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.